On July 13th, 2022, you will be able to see the full moon rising above the eastern horizon immediately after sunset. But it won't be some normal moon, but the fancy buck moon. Carry on watching this video if you want to know why we call the moon this way and why it will be the largest moon of the year. Will be very interesting. All of us know that when the moon appears fully illuminated from the surface of Earth, we call it the full moon. It shines very brightly in the sky, and we can see the largest details of the lunar surface. But in July 2022, the moon will have two distinct features. First, it will be located closer to Earth than any other full moon this year, making it the brightest supermoon. As many of you know, the moon's orbit is not an ideal circle, and there are times when it's located closer or further away from the Earth. On July 13th, the moon will be 222,000 miles away. It will appear to look 7% larger compared to a regular full moon, which is not really distinguishable to the naked eye. But, you know, it's always a cool fact to know that you're looking at the largest moon of the year. Second, the moon will be called the buck moon. For the non-native speakers of English, uh, buck is a male deer. The word is very funny, by the way. Who in the world would call a male deer a freaking buck? Okay, never mind. So, we call it the buck moon because during this period of the year, new antlers emerge really fast on the buck's forehead. Also, according to timeanddate.com, a wonderful website, by the way, consider visiting it. There are other names for this July moon, such as Salmon Moon, a Raspberry Moon, Herb Moon, and so on. In any case, the full moon is the best phase for you to see the famous lunar seas, which are not obviously made of water, but consist primarily of solidified lava. Another interesting thingy is one of the moon's brightest craters, Tycho which has a ray system forming long spokes that reach as long as 1500 kilometers. Thank you, Wikipedia. By the way, just a few days after July 13th, the moon will be in conjunction with Saturn and then Jupiter. If you want to see the planets through a telescope, this could be your chance. I don't know what else to put in this video, so uh, uh, enjoy your summer.